गाइस आई एम सिद्धांजन एंड वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल मर्चेंट नेवी गुरु जी सो गाइज आई एम हियर विदियो वेयर आई हैड टेकन क्यू एन आई सेशन विद अवर मर्चेंट नेवी ऑफिसर और यू कैन से थर्ड ऑफिसर आई विल आस्क अवर थर्ड ऑफिसर टू इंट्रोड्यूस हिमसेल्फ सो दिस इज रोशन पुजारी आई एम थर्ड ऑफिसर आई वर्क इन एंग्लो ईस्टर्न and uh, i had a request from this merchant navy guru ji is an instagram page and uh, to make a q and a uh, with him so i would like to tell that uh, i tried my best to go as uh, live on zoom call but then it didn't make out because our internet is pretty bad over here uh, long story short i would like to uh, answer as many questions he have sent it to me so um Uh, bear me if i uh, fail to answer as but i will make sure that i will uh, try to answer them all of them so here you go i think you did hear the reason and it justifies why our video is like this so moving on to next question how you started your career in shipping line and see um, actually uh, i didn't had any exposure of uh, about shipping and merchant navy i didn't knew anything about it so my main exposure was my uh, internet basically i went online i checked everything how stuff are but i had very less information about it so uh, what i did is i went to the reputed uh, places with the shipping industry uh, they have their own manning offices in bombay so i happened to encounter the best one that is anglo eastern uh, in management so i was a lucky one i would say because i i reached to the perfect place and they guided me very well and also the procedure were pretty simple and that's how my career has started in shipping line so our next question is was this your dream from childhood to get into merchant navy um honestly um i had a different idea or and a different career option uh, be- because uh, since childhood we are not mentally prepared that what's going to happen in so many years but all your family and all they try to prepare you like uh, either you'll become an engineer or you'll become a doctorate or something like that but merchant navy i would say it's an extraordinary thing because nobody uh, knows much about it i would say and it's uh, also it's very fascinating uh, career because you try to explore as much as possible in your in your life and also you get to learn a lot of things so it uh, i wouldn't say uh, that it was my dream to come in merchant navy it came in my life like uh, like i was in a right time and a right moment and then uh, i had chosen merchant navy so our next question is one of the important questions that have you taken any sponsorship before your first sip see um Uh, i have enrolled in anglo eastern since cadet ship in my uh, my beginning has mentor has been started in anglo eastern itself so anglo eastern has their policy that they uh, they uh, as you join their institute that is ama that is anglo eastern maritime academy they itself sponsor their cadets so it was pretty uh, clear in my mind that i don't have to run around for sponsorship or something because my career was decided later on uh, like it is fixed i would i was uh, getting job by anglistan itself and i still work on anglistan and i am looking forward for working further in anglistan as well so uh, that's how it is our next question is how was your sea experience in your first sail when you entered in the merchant navy sea experience i would say it uh, uh, it was is sea my cadet ship was i did it in like it is 5 6 years back and then uh, during that time i was pretty young close to 18 years of age when i first time came on board and i was really blank of what is happening this is something industrial i'm not uh, ready for this and uh, but then i tried to cope up in a week and then in a month and then it went on so it it was a good experience i would say i learned many things i uh, attend i got a good mentor i got very good people i would say and i i see the good experience i would say i learned many things i uh, attend i got a good mentor i got very good people i would say and i i see the new cadets coming up also they have been uh, trained well they get very nourished well and they get a good officers uh, to train them so it it's a good experience i would say you will you, you guys will learn a lot of things if you're a fresher if you're a new cadets about to join a new ship it, it's a good experience you get to see a lot of things you get to learn a lot of things so i came to the one of the most important question and most commonly asked question that is what about the work so i am asking our third officer to tell me something about your work on merchant navy ship 
माइसेल्फ आई एम अ थर्ड ऑफिसर आई वर्क ऑन डेक सो माई बेसिकली माई एवरी डे डे टू डे रूटीन इज वेरी फिक्सड वी हैव एन एस एम एस मैनुअल इन दैट इट इज वेरी नाइसली एंड क्लियरली ले डाउन दैट वॉट आर योर ड्यूटीज आर वॉट आर योर थिंग्स आर टू बी डन सो एज एज अ थर्ड ऑफिसर आई हैव टू लुक आफ्टर सेफ्टी रिलेटेड थिंग्स सो दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ लाइफ जैकेट लाइफ बोट एंड एवरीथिंग दैट इज बेसिकली सेफ्टी सो यू यू डोंट हैव एनी डाउट्स दैट वॉट इज योर ड्यूटीज आर एंड वॉट योर जॉब्स आर योर जॉब रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज आर प्रेटी नाइसली लेड इन योर एस एम एस दैट इज सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड यू डोंट हैव एनी डाउट एंड इफ यू इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट लाइक एनी थिंग इन अ डे टू डे जॉब्स इफ यू फील लाइक यू नीड सम हेल्प देर इज ऑलवेज योर मास्टर इज देर टू गाइड यू देर इज ऑलवेज योर चीफ ऑफिसर इज देर टू गाइड यू सो देर इज अ हेल्प अराउंड ऑलवेज अराउंड सो अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ taking a sponsorship can make a difference in getting a job see uh getting a sponsorship that means your further career is decided okay you don't have to worry about getting or finding a job so anglo western is best in management company as far now and uh, they been sponsoring their cadets since they joined their institute that means when you join your anglo western college that is a a m a that a m a uh they train you for one year and they get uh, properly trained for uh, joining their ship and once they finish their training they get joined in like two or three months to a uh, cadet sh- that that is uh, pre- after uh, you finish your pre c you get to join a ship as a cadet so you have to complete 18 months so uh, it's very fast okay you don't have to run for finding a job and all uh, if you're in anglo western and you get collectively you get trained well in ship as well so once you finish your cadet ship that is 18 months you come back home you do your studies for second mates you clear your exam you get your coc and then you have been joined back as a third officer in your further career so it's it's a collective tree diga and then if you are in uh, working in anglo western Uh, like many management companies uh, i w- uh, i would say that they give sponsor to your cadets like by, uh, by the time you join the institute itself they get sponsored so anglo western is one of the best in uh, in terms of that uh, in providing sponsorship so that's how it is so our next question moving to our next question that is what are the different aspects a candidate has to look before joining any marine corps or institution see uh, first thing first is uh, is the company or institute is reliable is it offering you job is it offering you sponsorship and uh, how is the uh, co- like company is associated with its background like uh, how many ships they have okay what is the waiting period of a uh, of a candidate to join after they finish their pre c so many many things comes into consideration so you have to pick very wisely and avoid joining any uh, agents or anything because see uh, this this career is very uh, i would say the internet has uh, made a very hooks about this career many of them guys been uh, lost their money lost their time their career and now we came to our most interesting question that is there are a lot of a scam and frauds happening in this sector okay is happening in this sector and what's your opinion on this and why this is happening sir uh we can't stop internet we can't stop guys from uh making such frauds and all because it's been going since i i'm not sure how long but then uh, people get trapped in this so uh, my uh, my suggestion is don't uh, fall into like agents or something which give you false uh, information and then you end up going into some wrong stream and uh, that is uh, it that's pretty dangerous so uh, it's better you get into a reputed company to, uh, join properly uh, by checking their terms and conditions by checking how many uh, what is the background and everything so uh, my idea is that we can't stop internet but then you have to choose wisely this much in navy like by getting into a false information like uh, by agents or somebody else so uh like i said i w- am bu- i'm working in anglo western since the beginning and anglo western doesn't hire any agents any uh, like fraud and activity like uh, you will be charged as much which is the uh, 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 the rules which is laid by anglo western is pretty clear it's pretty transparent it's there how it is so you have to choose wisely and you have to check everything when uh, like from top to bottom when joining any of the companies what our third officer just said now right now i've already talked about this topic in my previous video so if you haven't watched yet you can check it out from uh, the video link 
which is given in the description okay so our next question is is there anything about merchant navy to be worry or scare about uh there is nothing like that see uh Uh, ultimately depends on your perspective see if you're working in land and if you're working as a normal 9 to 5 job in india there are also many different uh, different things that can encounter that is dangerous uh, in similar way in, in merchant navy it has its own aspects it has its own perspective so danger lies everywhere it's all about your wish all about your likings and all about your uh, perspective that what you want to uh, select your career and see uh, if you uh, keep running away from dangers or anything then you would never achieve what you want actually if you have to reach to that limit you have to take risks and risk uh, you should uh, you you correct me that risk i'm not talking about your life and all but risk by taking some career option that you are away from your comfort zone uh, like example your family must not uh, must not be happy like you are working abroad or working away from them for 6 months so that things you have to think about it talk about it and uh, you have to take decision because see uh, later on you, you are working for whom your family uh, your fam your family happiness as well as your happiness so it has to be a collective okay uh, you can also earn that much of money uh, have some good time with your family and all when working in land also but this uh, machinery it has its own perspective okay so it ultimately depends on your decision and your likings so now moving to our last question that is what's your masses to the aspiring sailors seafarers or aspiring candidates who want to go into merchant navy uh, my message is that see uh, merchant navy in uh, will bring you happiness will bring you a uh, lot of your bucket list to complete and then it uh, you will be happy in your life if you are uh, explorer if you want to explore many places if you want to Uh, meet new people learn from many things and you want to uh, eat lot of different food from different part of the world if you basically want to uh, fulfill these dreams plus work also along and then when you go home you get completely full rest and uh, there is no disturbance at all then much in any is your thing that's it in today's video we will continue our q and a session with our merchant navy officer in our upcoming videos and i really want to thank rosam pujari sir for sharing his valuable time and his very valuable experience on our channel thank you very much sir and if any of the merchant navy officer who is right now watching me on this youtube channel and want to share his or her experience about a, or a merchant navy sector then you are always welcome on my channel you can contact me via my mail address that is in the description box or you can also directly message me on instagram if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get latest notification of my new videos so thanks for watching